So a while ago, Nintendo Switch updated to 9.0 in the operating system and the UI. And uh, for the most part, people didn't really see a ton of differences in this 9.0 update. Maybe things might be a little bit faster, a few more um, avatars and stuff like that. But uh, we've been waiting a long time. I mean, let's just be honest. We've been waiting, what? three years almost at this point for an actual new feature to be added to the ui uh, a lot of us have been begging for things like folders uh, and all that and they, they did technically do one new feature a while ago they let us organize our games uh, a, a bit better being able to custom organize or, or list by time played or, or all that stuff and and that was a nice little addition not exactly folders but it's something However, they did introduce something they talked about, but we haven't seen. And uh, Nintendo said that in Switch's 9.0 update, that, y that friend invites would be a thing in online play. But the thing is, is friend invites haven't been available in any of Nintendo's offerings or any third-party offerings. That is until now. And that is with Divinity Original Sin 2 on Switch. Now, when you go online, you can host a match and invite friends natively through your Switch to come play with you instead of having to uh, go through the game itself, right? We've seen like in Fortnite, you know, you can invite your friends to play with you through the game. Uh, but here, this is actually happening on the operating system level. Uh, so your, your friend could be playing a different game. It could be doing whatever. It could just be online, um, you know, reading the news section or something. But as long as they're logged in online and you see them, you could select them. And if they have that game, invite them to play. Now, again, this is only working in Divinity Original Sin 2. But uh, it, it's very interesting. And what you're seeing on screen right now is Game Explain actually testing this out because I don't own that game or a Switch at the moment to test it out myself. Uh, but it, it's very interesting to see this because this is a very basic feature. This is a feature that has existed on Xbox and PlayStation for over a decade. And it's weird that only just now is Nintendo adding this in. It, Nintendo has, I think, in Switch a very basic UI, a very clean UI, a very simple operating system that I really like it's not overly complicated you're not bombarded with ads all the time you know when you go on to an xbox it can be confusing at times if you've never used an xbox one or even if you used it at launch and then you're using it today it can be really confusing using that system or if you go on you know sony's platform on playstation 4 some of you might be wondering why the heck does it look like a dvd menu because that's just what sony's been doing because they used you know they make dvd players and blu-ray players so the menu system inside uh playstation might be familiar to you after all these years but it's also it's also kind of weird it doesn't feel intuitive it's just there you just kind of accept that well if you've ever used a dvd player or a blu-ray player you're gonna know how to use a playstation but it doesn't feel like a gaming machine it doesn't feel like a smartphone it doesn't feel intuitive intuitive and that's the thing about nintendo switch is it feels more intuitive not just because it's a tablet and with a touchscreen, but just because it it just feels like apps and, and games it feels familiar to us in a smart world but it doesn't have all of the smart features and that includes the ability to play with friends easily natively through the platform i mean there still isn't even a voice chat like yes there's voice chat through the app but we can't like make lobbies in voice chat and actually talk to our friends and and, and if you guys remember actually this invite feature What's really weird about this is back when they first talked about the Nintendo Switch Online system and the Nintendo Switch Online app, one of the main features in the online app, this was the big thing that was going to make it stand out compared to Xbox and PlayStation, was that you were going to be able to set up play sessions without even having your Switch with you. You could go on to the Nintendo Switch Online app on your phone, and you could be like, hey, we're going to do a play date for Mario Kart 8 tonight. Um, invite all your friends. They could uh, say they're going to, going to attend, and then you would assume, naturally, when you go onto the actual Switch around that time, you could send out those invites, or the invites would automatically be sent out based on the Nintendo Switch Online app. And this is a feature just never came. Nintendo talked about it a couple times really early on in 2017, and then never talked about it again. And they still haven't talked about it again, and no one seems to be willing to ask Nintendo in interviews about the online system where it went, right? It, it just, poof vanished as a, even a concept 
Uh, and, and that's sad. And it feels like friend invites in general vanished with it. Now, it's nice to see friend invites coming in. It's, it's interesting that it has to be enabled on an individual game level. So it's obviously up to the developers of each individual game, including Nintendo, to include friend invites. And it is nice that it can be done. It's just such a basic feature that it feels weird that we had to wait three years for such a basic feature. And it also kind of highlights just how far behind Nintendo really is with their online systems. I mean, they they tie did obviously uh you know not too long ago about all the snes games coming to switch and that's great it's nice to have the huge influx of games but you know what happened after they did that they stopped with their monthly releases of games if you guys remember we were getting two usually just two sometimes three game new games added every single month to the nes online app and as soon as they launched the snes one that just stopped they stopped giving us new games every month i don't know if you guys paid any attention to that nintendo's not not releasing more games i mean i'm sure they will eventually but they, they haven't yet and that's so confusing because nintendo promised there would be new games every month they literally said when the nintendo switch online service launched that there would be new games every month and here we are and we're not getting new games anymore and this is confusing when you see things like Xbox, when you see things like PlayStation offering new games every month and not just old games. They're offering sometimes games that are only six months old. They're just giving them to you for being part of Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network. So it, it, it's just it's baffling to see Nintendo just falling so far behind on the online curve. And I know if you've paid attention to Nintendo online services over the years, you know they've always been behind the curve. But it feels like it feels weird because Switch itself, as a hybrid system, as this thing that um, seems ahead of the curve, really in terms of um, the evolution of, of playing in front of your TV and on the go, uh, digital downloads. I know there's no game streaming services on it yet but uh, that could be something that could exist in the future because it does exist already on um, the nvidia shield tv consoles that use the same you know internal parts so it, it's not an impossibility for that to come to switch at some point and nintendo just feels like they're really well set up uh, for almost a future proof like system because there's nobody doing what they do and there's nothing coming out that really replaces what they do beyond phones and tablets that have already exist in the market nintendo competes in so I, it's baffling to me to see them so far behind on so many things. So while this is actually a really good moment for Nintendo to add in these friend invites, even if it's really only available in this one obscure game that uh, I don't think very many people are even playing anymore on Switch. Uh, by the way, Divinity Original Sin 2 is a fantastic game. So this is not a knock on the game. The game is, is amazing. It's just it, it's one of those situations where this isn't really where you would expect to first see this feature. Like, why isn't it in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at this point? Why isn't it in Splatoon? Why isn't it in um, any number of games. And I understand some of these, these games, El Splatoon, as an example, has an ability to invite friends within the game. But uh, why isn't it available system level is is beyond me. And and I, I'm just, I'm left, I'm just left at a loss for words on um, Nintendo's kind of uh, lack of tech savvy when it comes to online systems. Uh, and I it's weird, too, because they're a Japanese company, and Japanese is always kind of ahead of the curve. You know, Japan in general is ahead of the curve with tech, ahead of the curve a lot of times uh, with online. Uh, they have, like, the one of the best Internet infrastructures in the world in, in, uh, in Japan. Everyone over there, uh, you know, can basically be rocking gigabyte speeds if they want. Uh, whereas here in the United States, we have caps and data limits and all this stuff. I know there's fiber in some areas, but not everywhere. Uh, that's not a problem in Japan. And there's free internet everywhere, too. That's really good. Uh, so, like, Japan's always ahead of the curve. But Nintendo just doesn't seem to care about these online systems as much. Uh, uh, they don't care about um, even, like, the best user experience. Like, the fact that we're this far in and we don't have folders, the fact that we're this far in... And uh, we're just asking for Nintendo for bare bones basic features they've actually had on prior systems. They had native voice chat on Wii U. Um, they had uh, an, an online social network, I guess, in Miiverse that some people really, really miss that baffles that it's gone because there's not really anything like that on Switch. It'd be on, oh, you could share a screenshot on Twitter or something. Like, okay, but where can I talk to my friends? You can't message your friends. You can't do it on the online app. You can't do it here, at least at, at least on Wii U and 3DS. You could kind of do it through Miiverse. Heck, if you guys remember back to the D, remember Picto Chat? Remember Picto Chat? It wasn't ideal, but you could message and draw pictures to your friends that kind of seemed to be the original basis for me verse if we're being honest it was picto chat and they were doing that all the way back on the nintendo ds 
But here we are in, you know, 2019, almost 2020 on Switch, and we still can't have any way to talk to our friends. So even if you want to invite your friends to play a game, you can't talk to them before you send the invite to see if they even want to play the game. It, it's just a, a baffling thing. I know we have a billion ways to communicate. You know, with Nintendo Prime, we got Discord and everything. Obviously, you can text people, Facebook Messenger, whatever whatever service you want to use. You can just, you know, call people up. And I understand that for those people that you might be good friends with in real life, that's a distinct possibility. But there's a lot of people, especially like school-age kids, that don't have their friends' phone numbers and, and might not have cell phones yet. I know I haven't let even my 8-year-old have a cell phone yet. Or for her, it'd be easier if she could just message someone on her Switch. You know, hey, what's your Switch friend your friend code or whatever? Add you on Switch. Which, by the way, friend codes need to go away. I don't know why Nintendo brought those back. Uh, but they could message their friends and be like, hey, you want to play Splatoon with me? You want to play Mario Kart with me? And then just go uh but they can't my, my daughter has no ability to do that she has to actually pick up my phone or the home phone because actually we do have a house phone here and uh, call her friend to try to set that up and i know that that, that seems like such a, a foreign concept but and i had to do that when i was a kid but i mean we're at the point that technology should, should just be expected to communicate you should we are so connected in this world that it doesn't make sense that switch is so disconnected and it wasn't always that way because you could talk to me. Heck, you could video chat people on Wii U. Do you guys remember that? I know it wasn't like this big, widely used service, but you could video chat people on Wii U. Like, this is back when FaceTime was becoming a big thing. You could video chat on Wii U. It was like right there. It wasn't as good, but it was right there. You could you could do that. What you could do on your smartphone, you could do right there on your TV with your Wii U. And it was awesome. It wasn't, you know, obviously a really widely used version, but heck, you used to be able to control your TV with the Wii U. You had a built-in TV button with a remote control that was smarter than a lot of people's home remote controls, unless you obviously have one of those, like, LG or super high-tech smart remotes. But I, I, Nintendo has these ideas, these crazy ideas, like the TV remote or the video chat or Miiverse, and every time they seem to hit on something, they just get rid of it when the next generation comes around, and it's just, it's baffling to me to see Switch after all these years, and I love Switch, I love the library, um, obviously I'm not a big fan of the Joy-Con drift, but I like the Joy-Cons themselves when they're not having drifting problems, uh, I, I like the Pro Controller when I'm not having the grinding stick issue, which I've had in the past, but in general, I like the design of the Pro Controller, very Xbox-like, I'm okay with that, doesn't bother me, um, I, I, in general, I just really love the Switch, and I love the convenience of on the go on the TV, how easy it is for me to stream for you guys with a portable device that I just take anywhere with me. I, I, I like the idea of the Switch Lite. I like everything that's really surrounding the Nintendo Switch beyond a few of those technical issues. But the one thing that, that is baffling is just how ancient it feels when you go on the Switch and as modern as it might look with the apps and all this, like there's still just a lot missing so i'm really happy they have added the ability for friend invites even if it needs to be programmed into the games and have game updates and, and all the stuff to make it work uh it should have been there day one and even with this feature included it's still so far behind because the invites are there but not the ability to communicate with the people you want to invite so it's kind of like a half measure oh you can invite your friends but you can't communicate with your friends to invite them. You can actually communicate with them better if you hop on Fortnite, get into a lobby with them, chat with them, and be like, hey, you want to go play Mario Kart 8? And then do the... Like, that that's the crazy thing. It's, it's a better if you use, like, a free game like Fortnite to communicate with your friends on Switch than it is anything else. Because you can't even get in a lobby to chat with your friends before games are being played on the Nintendo Switch Online app or anywhere else on Switch. It, it's just... Nintendo takes a lot of steps forward at times, but then when the next generation comes, they just take like these massive leaps backward. Uh, you know, Virtual Console has been reset so many times, and it doesn't really make sense. We saw, you know, how Microsoft and Sony were able to kind of transition their Virtual Console-like services into the next generation pretty successfully, and Nintendo just kind of abandons it every single time, making you rebuy the game. Sometimes they'll give them to you at a discount like they did on Wii U, but it, it's still, it, it's not like, I already own the game. Why do I have to pay for it again? Um, and, and, and now if you're going to go this this idea of, of, of subscription service, uh, you get these games, then why are we consistently getting updates to those games? Why aren't we getting more games? Yeah, you added online features, but you know what's more important than those online features to these games? Just having a library of these classic games to play in the first place. A big library, an ever-growing library. At this rate, you could basically never expect N64 games, or if you do, you'll get 20 or whatever at launch, and then that's it. Don't expect any more. It'll be worse than an N64 classic would be. 
it, I mean, right now you could argue the SNES stuff is worse than the SNES classic. And that, that just shouldn't be happening in modern, you know, 2019. And I also think maybe, this is my hope anyways, I hope Nintendo's as smart. They should be taking these games, the NES, the, the SNES ones, and separating separating them out on their own as their own subscription service in the future. I know that devalues the Nintendo Switch online service, but let's be honest, it's kind of, even with all the additional perks on on Microsoft and Sony, if they removed, uh, if they stopped locking online gameplay behind those services, Sony and Microsoft know those services would just, you know, it really lose millions of subscribers. So uh, Nintendo's still going to be able to force a lot of us into the Nintendo Switch online service anyways, just so we can play Nintendo games online and play third-party games online that we have to you know pay premium money for. I know that all the free-to-play ones they, that you can play online without it, but um, Nintendo's going to force us to pay for it anyways, and that's really why any of us have a Nintendo Switch online service uh, subscription. So just take these classic games, separate them out on their own for those that don't want to get support, you know, paywalling online play but do want to subscribe for classic games and set that aside as a five dollar per service you know ten dollar and i understand oh well that makes everything more expensive but it's an option you can still include it with the nintendo switch online service but if you also have it separate from it it gives those that don't want to support the idea of paywalling multiplayer to still get access to these games who don't mind a subscription service to play classic games but you got to keep updating them you got to be like netflix you got to be like xbox and, and sony you need to keep adding games you can't just stop and these are old games we're not even talking about like having to rework stuff so in the end and i'm glad that friend invites are here uh i'm glad that uh we are at a point now in nintendo switch's life where we're starting to get some very basic features that should have just been there from day one uh no there's not a person in the world that won't convince me that nintendo switch at least operating system wise was was rushed to launch uh it has a good operating system at its core the base behind it all but after you get past that core fundamental stuff nintendo just didn't really do anything we still don't have a web browser even though there's a web browser on the switch that you can access by messing around with the social media like it has a web browser why it's not publicly available when i can browse websites on the dang 3ds is just baffling why nintendo hasn't somehow worked out things with netflix after all these like it's just so many little things but again the nintendo switch is a fantastic piece of hardware the nintendo switch is a fantastic gaming platform and for playing games i'm glad that cartridges are back because they are a better medium than uh, having to install games all the time uh even though there are games that require installs because they won't use the bigger cartridges because they're expensive it's kind of a, a catch-22 there but thank you guys so much for tuning in if you enjoyed this video uh, let me know down in the comments below i got plenty more content coming your way a whole bunch of videos are already in the works partially done i just need to actually sit down for a few days and and get all the editing done because there's there's a, a lot of crazy content coming but thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you nintendo for adding a basic feature and thank you um you know shout out to game explain again for showing this off and allowing us to use their footage um and i will catch you guys in the next video